Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Communication Corner. I'm your host for this afternoon, Gail Lewis. And joining me today, we've got some great Toastmasters and they're going to speak about how to nail your next job interview. As we sit here in the end of June going into the summer, so many college students are graduating and also there are lots of us looking for summer employment. So this is a good time of year to think about sharpening your interviewing skills, whether you're looking for a second job or maybe looking for a new one. So tonight, joining me here on Communication Corner are two people who are very, very well qualified to speak to interviewing skills. They're both Toastmasters. First, Nancy Garlic. Good, good afternoon, Nancy. Good afternoon. And her husband and also fellow Toastmaster, Melvin Garlic. Good afternoon. So thanks for joining us here on Communication Corner this afternoon to talk job interview skills. But before we get to job interview skills, let's look at your qualifications to speak to job interview skills and communication in general. You guys are both Toastmasters. Yes. How long have you been Toastmasters? And well, why don't we explain to maybe the one or two people left in Queens who don't know what Toastmasters is, exactly what Toastmasters is. Well, Toastmasters is a leadership and communication group mm -hmm. and they specialize in teaching people member our members how to speak publicly and lead groups of people and develop their listening skills and critical thinking skills as well so you get all of this in a not-for-profit organization yes and um, tell us about your Toastmasters Club well, our Toastmasters Club is called Emergent Speakers of Elmont, uh -huh. and we've, mm -hmm. we've got, we became chartered in May, April or May this year. Of 2013. Right. Wow, a, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We're mm -hmm. a young group, mm -hmm. and we just started, and we're ready to pave the road for the young people. All right, and where does our Emerging Voices of Elmont meet? Our emerging Speakers of Elmont <laughs> meet. <laughs> At Elmont Library, 700 Hempstead Turnpike in Elmont, New York. Okay, and right when? Right next to the Belmont Racetrack. It's oh, on a right Wednesday. Down the road. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's on a Wednesday, mm -hmm. always. It's usually the first and third Wednesday, but sometimes we get pushed around to the third, to the second, and the fourth Wednesday mm -hmm. of the month. And at Toastmasters, we can. Uh, practice our public speaking, communication skills, and our leadership skills. And along with that is learning how to be a better communicator when you're on a job interview, right? Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. So let's talk job interviews. Um, if I'm lucky enough, after I submit my resume online or in person, to get a job interview, uh, what's the first thing I should do? How should I find out about the company? Uh, Nancy? One of the things is to look at the company website. Mm -hmm. Examine their website, know, know what kind of product this company is going to produce so that you're well versed in what that company has to offer you as well as what you need to give to that company. Mm -hmm. And how can I find out more about my position that I am interviewing for? Well, one of the things that happens is they, they have a job description mm -hmm. on these websites. And if you look at the job description, you will be able to examine mm -hmm. what type of position that you are going for and what are the qualifications for that position. Mm -hmm. One thing that I like to do is if I'm looking for a particular job, look at all of the job descriptions for that type of job across different companies. Would you say that that's a good way to go, Melvin? Uh, yes, I do. I mm -hmm. agree. You want to look you want to look for the best fit for you and your personality. Mm -hmm. And so you look at the whole company and in each job description, you may go to school for an engineering degree, mm -hmm. but you're not, you might not be a good fit for uh, bridge and tunnel. Right. You want mm -hmm. to do something else in mm -hmm. engineering. So you find a, a, a company that fits your culture and mm -hmm. you can fit in, you'll be a good fit. And let's talk a little bit about corporate culture. Um, what else should I look for, Nancy, when I'm looking at a company's culture? And how can I find out about it? Much of this information is on the Internet. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the Internet and you look at different uh, 
maybe newspaper articles about right. the company. Mm -hmm. You will find out a, a numerous things about this, these companies. Should I give any credibility for, to what other employees of the company say? Should I look at employee reviews that are online? Are those credible, do you think? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important that employers know mm -hmm. that their employees are rating them as well. Right. Mm -hmm. So look at the ratings that other employees have given them before I get there and look at the background of the company, absolutely. Correct. What kind of questions should I formulate so what the, when I'm on a job interview I can ask questions about the company? What do you think? One of the things I think that you might want to ask is what does this company feel that they could offer you? Right. Mm -hmm. And when you ask a, a, a company something like that, that's a very difficult question. What can you offer me right. that would help me to grow as a, a professional in your job? So when I've done some background research, I show up for the day of the job interview. And of course, I'm very excited to be there. And um, I'm looking at the way you guys are dressed very smartly. Um, how should I dress for a job interview? A suit, mm -hmm. absolutely a suit, and women should always make sure that their skirts are not too high or their dress is not um, too high above the knee. I always say knee length dresses are appropriate for job interviews. Uh, you should not wear long earrings <laughs> like you're wearing <laughs> like now. I'm wearing now. Uh, uh, a post earring is always very professional looking. Mm -hmm. And also, one of the important things is dress appropriately for the type of job that you're going for. So speak to that. So let's say the way that Melvin is dressed right now. Um, what would or wouldn't this be uh, appropriate for? Melvin? Well, if I was going for a lifeguard job, uh -huh. <laughs> I wouldn't come in a suit. Really? <laughs> well, I, don't, I wouldn't see it was right. absolutely necessary. Mm -hmm. So you want to dress appropriately for the type of job that you're going for. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, a suit is fine. Mm -hmm. Just not if you are doing something like a lifeguard. Um, you might be asked uh, to show us off your skills. Absolutely. <laughs> and come prepared. Mm -hmm. If you're going for a nursing job and you're going for an interview, have your license with you. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I left it home. Right. What about bringing ID? Let's say that it's the sort of like a temporary position or a weekend position, and you go for an interview and they offer you the job. And it's not a, a full-time gig. Should you be um, prepared with your, your license or other ID and stuff like that? You should. If you're mm -hmm. serious about going for a job, you should mm -hmm. come with Every, all the paperwork and documents that's necessary to have mm -hmm. that job. So, Social Security card. Social Security card. What else? Anything else? Uh, picture ID. Mm -hmm. So that's... So that would be your driver's license. Right. A picture right. ID, mm -hmm. your Social Security card, and whatever uh, licensing documentations that you might need. And, mm -hmm. and, in, and also your uh, degrees right. from whatever school you graduated from. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe a copy of your transcript? Correct. Absolutely. Right. Yes. Okay, I hadn't thought of that too. Yes. So like if you're going for a job as a nurse, mm -hmm. do you, would you have an actual license? Absolutely you oh, would. So you would bring that with you? You would bring that with you mm -hmm. because that shows, first of all, that you're prepared right. for the interview. Mm -hmm. And second of all, it gives the license number. Every nurse has a license number and therefore they can check mm -hmm. to see that you are who you say you are. Right. And Melvin, you're a retired police officer, uh, corrections Correction officer. Correction officer, yes. So would you have uh, some sort of gun licensing to carry a firearm? Yes, I have a, a, mm -hmm. a license to carry mm -hmm. and that was required for that. And also I, I have a security guard's license mm -hmm. to carry a permit. So if I went for a security guard job to carry, I would have mm -hmm. to bring my license with me. So that's something you can expect that they'd yes. ask you for? Yes. Okay, that really makes sense. So I'm in the door. I'm excited, I'm dressed well, and like Melvin said, appropriately for the job, so not dressed like him sitting beside a pool mm -hmm. for a job as a lifeguard. Um, when I walk in, what about shaking hands? Yeah, you, should, you should greet the interviewer mm -hmm. with a firm 
handshake, mm -hmm. not over, not too much of a firm. You just grip it mm -hmm. nicely and you mm -hmm. give them a nice firm handshake and keep eye, good eye contact. Well, Melvin and Nancy, can you guys show us an example of a good handshake? Okay. Mm -hmm. You see how our thumbs meet and interlock and we grab a good grip, not a soft handshake. Right, it looks like uh, you're not a shrinking violet. It looks yes. like you've got some power behind you. Exactly. It's like you're um, secure in yourself and what you're doing and it what shows you're communicating. Confidence. And confidence. Confidence. Yes. Yes. And I noticed that as soon as you yes. grasped his hand, you guys looked at each other in the eyes. Correct. Absolutely. So Correct. eye contact. Yes. All right. Very important. So and mm -hmm. appropriately dr addressing the person that you're shaking hands with mm -hmm. using their surname. So, Mr. Mr. Mrs. Doctor. Or doctor. Mm -hmm. You 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 will mm -hmm. shake their hand mm -hmm. and acknowledge them with the appropriate uh, title. Title. Right. Okay. So uh, you wouldn't say Miss. You'd say Doctor. Doctor. <laughs> yes. Mr. Right. Okay. Very or nice. Mrs. Or Mrs. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. So I've shaken your hand. I'm dressed appropriately. I'm in the door and I'm excited. Should I be chatting on my cell phone? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's absolute. the absolute no no. <laughs> Driving if and by, as well as in a if interview. By, <laughs> if by chance you forget to turn your cell phone off and it re it mm -hmm. rings, mm -hmm. you should make a polite apology and turn it off. Do not answer it. Oh, so I shouldn't just say, Oh, hang on. No, I can talk. No. You <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> So make sure the cell phone is off also after, uh, before I walk in the door. Correct. So when I walk in the door, I do that handshake where I've got the eye contact and I greet with the salutation using the proper titles. Um, what about Fluffy, my, my cute little Pomeranian who I take with me everywhere? <laughs> Can I bring him? No. No. <laughs> the job is for you. Uh huh. Definitely not for your dog. Not for Fluffy. Not no. for Fluffy. Okay, so leave him at <laughs> home. Leave him at home today. <laughs> so uh, no dog. Fluffy's not on the payroll. No, <laughs> no dogs, no animals, no cell phones. Right. I've gotten in and I'm listening, um, and they start asking me questions. If there's a question that they ask that I'm not sure of, what should I do? Well, I think the first thing that you can do is say that you're not sure because I mm -hmm. think honesty is the best policy. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure of that answer, but I can get back to you uh, on it. Mm -hmm. And that's an, always an, a, a very good way to conduct yourself in an interview. I think that you gain respect. And I like that answer, I'll get back to you, Melvin, because it shows that um, you're, there's some follow-up or some follow-through. Uh, yeah, so I don't right. know right now, but I will follow up with you later. Right. You're not just leaving it hanging in the air that if you hire me, that's what I will do. I will mm -hmm. just leave everything hanging in the air. I will, I will find out, mm -hmm. and I would get back to you on it. As soon as and I And ensure can. that you mm -hmm. get back to that person on it. Right. Okay. Send them an email. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's say that that first interview is a one-on-one -on -one interview. What can I expect when it's a group interview? A lot of times in group interviews, you, you will have employer, employers, mm -hmm. uh, employees that are your, uh, who will be working with you. Mm -hmm. You will have your superiors, uh -huh. and you will have their superior uh -huh. in that interview. Mm -hmm. And when you have three or four people in an interview, you can expect questions to be coming from all three of these people. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. <laughs> questions. So that's where Toastmasters, I think, comes in because we have a component in Toastmasters called Table Topics mm -hmm. where we teach people how to speak in to. Mm -hmm. And we ask a question and someone will have to answer that question very impromptu. They don't know what you're asking mm -hmm. and they have to speak for one to two minutes. That sounds like something that would come in very handy on a job interview, yes. especially in that group situation. That Absolutely. can be overwhelming, it sounds like. It can, it can be. Mm -hmm. So you've got a lot of people asking you questions. If you don't know what to say, you say, I'll get back to you. I'll find out right. and I'll get back to you. Is there anything I should be asking on a job interview? About the company or? 
Mm -hmm. I think I well, think that you can ask questions about the company. Mm -hmm. Right. You can ask you can ask a little bit about the history of the company, maybe how long. You, you should have done that research and know a little more about the company, but mm -hmm. maybe you want to ask clarifications on different things of the company. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you read a negative review, mm -hmm. uh, and you may comment on that neg negative review or the positive review. My philosophy is to always keep things positive in okay. an interview. Mm -hmm. So if I've read something positive about that company and how much money it's making or whether they entered the stock exchange or something like that, mm -hmm. I will say congratulations mm -hmm. on doing this, that, this, this, that, or the other. Right. That also shows that you've really done your homework. If you can speak to how two months ago the company went public, they had an exactly. IPO or a stock split one month ago or yes. something like right. that, it absolutely right. shows that you have that kind of uh, history with the company. You're not just uh, looking for a job for today, but you've done a little research into what happened yesterday as well. Um, what about if they ask you questions like, uh, why should I choose you for this position and not the 10 other people I've, I've interviewed? Well, you can focus on things you've done on your previous employment. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did projects that you worked on that you were successful at mm -hmm. and separated you from the others? Okay, and also how you can use those skills on this job. Right, and how you right. can apply mm -hmm. that to this job. Correct. Awesome. So I'm in there, things are going great, they're asking questions, I'm, ask, I'm answering them, I'm asking questions, they're answering them. Um, is there anything I should know about the interviewing process when I'm actually in the interview? Um, anything maybe I shouldn't be doing? I mean, in addition to not taking fluffy and making mm -hmm. sure that my, uh, my cell phone is off? Uh, should, I not, should I ask about salary? No. No. No, I can't ask uh, how many G's I'm going to get. <laughs> Usually jobs send you an offer letter. Mm -hmm. And in that offer letter, they will tell you how much that position uh, they pays. So that's when you will get an idea. Now, at that point, you have the negotiating power mm -hmm. to call the employer or email the employer to say, this, this salary isn't enough or it is enough. So should I accept the first offer? No. No, why not? I think that when you go for a job and mm -hmm. they give you an offer letter, negotiation, and especially if you're an experienced person, new grads may have to, may want to get a little experience, but mm -hmm. when you have a lot of experience, one of the things that you learn to do is negotiate your salary. Mm -hmm. So. How would I do that? Should I mention a dollar amount or should I just kind of be vague and say, can you do better? Ask them if they can do better. Be very, not vague, mm -hmm. direct. Okay. Can you do better than this salary mm -hmm. of 50000 mm -hmm. let's say? Should I say, I want 100000 or should I just say, can you do better? Can you do better? You want to be mm -hmm. realistic in exactly. what, you're, what you're asking for. Okay, so don't say, I want 250 and no. three weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what the culture of that job is because mm -hmm. in certain jobs in uh, healthcare they have jobs that you have five weeks vacation and mm -hmm. then in business jobs you have two weeks vacations mm -hmm. and so it really depends on the type of job that you're looking at. But I wouldn't ask how much vacation I get, would I, on a job interview? No. No? Not, uh, how many? not on a, a job How interview. about when my first day off is? No. No. <laughs> no. How many holidays? <laughs> no. no. How about asking about the drug policy? The drug policy? I yes. guess you wouldn't do that either. <laughs> no. no, you wouldn't do that. Do you have no. zero, zero tolerance? No. <laughs> what if so, I take a trip to Washington State? <laughs> Does that matter? No. So no mention of any of that. No mention of... Um, illegal activities, no mention of uh, tobacco, no mention of how much exactly I'm getting paid on that first job interview, uh, and no mention at all about how many vacation days I'm going to get either. That's, That's right. The trend. Okay, right so, now. so those are the top four not to ask when you're on a job interview. <laughs> and I know there's a lot of people right now shaking their heads saying, really? I, but I did that. Oh, and I didn't get the job. Right. <laughs>
That's so, true. So know not to do those things. But when they give you the offer letter, that's mm -hmm. when you can start your negotiation. Okay, and then never accept that first offer. Right. Never. Okay. Right. When I'm getting up to leave the job interview, is there anything I should know or anything I should do? Shake their hand. Mm -hmm. Do that shaking of the hand again. Eye contact. Eye contact. Mm -hmm. uh, should I follow up after I leave? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Follow up emails. Mm -hmm. Emails to that company and mm -hmm. to the person that actually interviewed you is mm -hmm. very important. Do you prefer a thank you letter, a letter or a thank you email? Or doesn't it matter? I don't think that matters. Mm -hmm. I think a letter mm -hmm. or an email either mm -hmm. of the two is very good. And thanking them for the interview, for their time? Yes, I, mm -hmm. yes, that's I very appropriate. I thank them in advance mm -hmm. for considering me for the job. Okay, so an, an email or a handwritten note, thanking them for taking the time to interview you right. and saying that I'm looking forward to working, to with, working you? with you. Or is that right. too forward? No, that's no, very that's, appropriate. That's very appropriate yeah. So what you're saying is ask for the job. Ask for right. the job. Okay, right. be assertive. Be assertive and show that you're really interested in the job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what? don't be a shrinking violet. No. Mm -hmm. no. No. What were you going to say? I was going to say that I know a situation mm -hmm. that someone was hired because they asked for the job in really? their acceptance letter. Wow. That's great. In their thank, in their you, thank you note. In okay. their thank you note, they asked for the job. So they said, I would like... I would like this job. I'd I like look this position. I look forward to working for you. Okay. I like that. Say that one more time. I look forward to work <laughs> to working for for you. <laughs> All right. So I should tight. say that and write that in my thank you letter. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. All right. So ask for the job. Ask that for That kind me. of seems like I'm sealing the deal. Yes. Okay. So all of these interview skills and a lot more are things that you touch on in Toastmasters. Yes. For more information about Toastmasters, we can go to the, the giant Toastmasters website. What's that? www.toastmasters.org. So the Toastmasters website, www.toastmasters.org. Yes. And that's for more information about Toastmasters. And more importantly, right here in our own area, for information about your clubs. And your club is in District 46. Yes, and right. where does District 46 uh, stretch? District 46 is Queens, Long Island, that's Suffolk County and Nassau County, mm -hmm. Brooklyn, and Manhattan, mm -hmm. and the Bronx. Okay, and also a little bit of Westchester. A little bit of mm -hmm. Westchester, yes. Right. Okay. So if you're in any of those areas, or all and all of Queens, obviously, you're part of District 46 for Toastmasters. Yes. Correct. So if they want more information about uh, your club, which is in Elmont, uh, where can they go? They can go to www.district46.org. Mm -hmm. And the District 46 is the website that encapsulates the entire area. In, in or or mm -hmm. www.elmontlibrary.org. Uh, uh, Elmontlibrary.org. And that's for information about your club, which yes. again is Emerging Speakers. 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 I keep wanting about to say voice. voices. Yeah. Emerging Emerge speakers, speakers of Elmont. Right. And uh, if there's one thing that you guys can say is one of the most important things to remember about a job interview before we wrap up, what would you say that it is? The most think, important thing? Uh-huh. If there's one thing that I remember about a job interview. It's so you got to catch them in the beginning. Mm -hmm. your, your appearance, mm -hmm. being properly prepared, and your greeting. So first impressions. First impressions. First impressions. And yeah. you, Nancy? I say be well socialized. Mm -hmm. during the interview. When they like you, they, they will hire you. So no matter what your resume, well, the resume got you in the door. The, the resume gets you in the door. Mm -hmm. Your handshake and your appearance gives you the opening warmth. Mm -hmm. But when you are well socialized and you know a lot about the company that you want to work for, mm -hmm. they want you. So because they understand the culture. Acclimate yourself to the corporate culture. Acclimate. And remember that first impressions are the most important impressions. Yes. Exactly. All right, those are, those are two absolutely awesome uh, interview skill tips to remember. Mm -hmm. And of course, Toastmasters, always a place where we can practice all of our uh, interviewing tips. 
and all of our public speaking and communication skills as well. Um, so for more information, we can go to toastmasters.org. We can go to your club on Wednesdays at Elmont Library, yes. which is where on Hempstead Turnpike? 700 Hempstead Turnpike, 7.30 p.m. On Wednesdays. Is there a particular Wednesday or every other Wednesday? or? It's usually twice a month mm -hmm. on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And it's always at 7.30 to 9. Okay. That's what the consistency is. Mm -hmm. And just to find out exactly what Wednesdays, we can just call the Elmont Library or, or go to their go, website. Go to their, their website, website yes. on the event calendar. Okay. Mm -hmm. And one more thing before we wrap. Uh, Melvin, you're a retired corrections officer, but right now you are a stand-up comedian. Yes, I am. Where can we see you perform next? Uh, I'll, be perform I'll be performing at Calf Moments in Elmont mm -hmm. on Monday, July 8th. Mm -hmm. I will be, I'll be there with about six other comedians. Great. It'll be a great free comedy show. And more information about you, where? MelGarlic.com. www.melgarlic.com. Thanks to my guests for coming out today, and thank you to everyone for watching Communication Corner. I'm Gail Lewis. With me, Nancy Garlic, Melvin Garlic, both Toastmasters. Remember, go to www.toastmasters.org for more information about Toastmasters. And if you'd like to contact me, feel free, email me, newday2010 at yahoo.com. Thanks again for joining us here on Communication Corner this afternoon. Have a great evening, and we'll see you again real soon.